Hey Big Small World, just wanted to have another quick introduction to the second episode here, to this Tasmania adventure series. Uh, I learned a lot from the first episode, I had some amazing feedback from all of you and uh, I really wanted to work super hard to make sure this was even better than the first one. Lots of things learned, I think this has turned out a lot smoother, a lot better and uh, I'm going to keep improving every time. So thanks very much for supporting me and I hope you enjoy. Jay Blank. Welcome back, Big Small World, to episode two of our Tasmanian adventure. Thanks for subscribing and supporting us. Last episode, we arrived here in Hobart after a long day of driving. Now let's see what this southern city has to offer. Our first stop this morning is one of my must-see destinations this trip. Nestled in rain-soaked forests, with cloud-capped mountains all around, is the Cascade Brewery. One of Australia's oldest breweries, and arguably the most beautiful. So let's go take a look. Tracks Big Small World and head out and see another of Hobart's landmark attractions, the Royal Botanical Gardens. I've heard it's amazing, so let's find out why it's so popular. these gardens are so full of life. The greenhouse was great, but the rest of the gardens are a whole other world.
towering behind Hobart City is the massive Mount Wellington. You can't miss it. Once we saw it, we knew we had to get to the top and see Tasmania from a whole new angle. fantastic day of adventures. I think it's about time to hit the town and relax a little. We found a popular dumpling restaurant nearby, Shanghai King Bun, so of course we had to give them a try. Well, that's it for today. Luckily, we're camped out at the LD campground just outside Hobart, and being wintertime, we have the place almost to ourselves. I'm going to settle in front of the fireplace with a Tasmanian pagan cherry cider, one of my all-time favourites, and we'll see you next time as we explore another part of this big, small world.